Thank you, Mrs. Kane. Thank you, students. Thank you, Mr. Foreman. Thank, thank you, Mr. Foreman. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family, friends, Superintendent Bernard, Chairwoman Imbriano, and members of the North Reading School Committee, North Reading High School faculty, and most importantly, members of the class of 2018. As principal, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you to the 61st commencement exercises for North Reading High School. And well, as it has been said many times and tweeted even more, sincere thanks to Mr. Johnson, it is truly a great day to be a Hornet. The class of 2018 typically needs no introduction. This is a talented, intelligent, spirited, at times rambunctious, but always kind and caring group. As I'm sure you've heard, this class is also the largest graduating class we've had at North Reading in a number of years, certainly going back at least 20 years by my research. And while the class of 2018 stands apart because of its sheer numbers, let us be mindful of not only the lesson that lies therein, but also an opportunity as well. For sure, the idea that there is strength in numbers is one that can apply to this group. And they could easily validate the ominous message that might makes right. And while that message may be heard more frequently these days than we are typically used to, it doesn't make it any easier to swallow. Nobody really wants to see a movie where the bully wins. Nobody wants to have their lunch money stolen on a daily basis. The world of might makes right can be cruel and unfair and hard. With this group of young men and women, however, there is strength beyond the numbers, strength in the bonds that tie these students together. This is a particularly warm group. They play well together, they support each other, they applaud each other, they are mindful of those around them. For all intents and purposes, if we were to simply attribute might makes, the might makes right aphorism to this class, it would be misplaced an unacceptable characterization, and an unfair legacy. So let us then appeal to one of the great minds of our past, a man whose extraordinary intellect and depth of character are unmatched, Abraham Lincoln, who in February of 1860, 1860 that is, brilliantly articulated that in fact, the reverse is true. Right makes might. This contrapuntal turnaround has allowed for us all a sense of hope and a sign of manifest justice. There is power in truth, there is honor in truth, and there is good in truth. And yes, indeed, right does make might. And while Lincoln spoke these words with great passion and conviction in an attempt to stop the spread of slavery during the most unsettled times our nation has ever seen, is it fair and appropriate to recall them here tonight? You may think it is a stretch, and you may be right. But for the students celebrated here this evening, your faculty and your administrators here, and all those who have helped shape and guide you in your journey, whether at the batch or the little or the hood or through middle school, that message is our passion. And we strive each day with the same conviction to challenge, to encourage, to stimulate, to inspire, and to lead you to a place where together we see the warm comfort and security when right makes might over the gray angst and uncertainty of its opposite. Members of the class of 2018, your numbers aside, you have demonstrated by your character and your accomplishments that you have placed right over might. And that simple tenet has taken you far along your journey. But now you stand at the end of a long street staring onto the last page of a long chapter. And this gathering here tonight marks the start of a new chapter, of course, a turn down a new street, the next leg of your journey. As you prepare for this journey, needless to say, you'll be taking a number of things with you. Your hands will be quite full. I can't imagine going anywhere without your cell phone and a charging device of some sort. 
There'll be new books to read. You may have to stick those under your arm somehow. Perhaps you may want a fresh copy or two of your resume and a cover letter. Got to keep those somewhere. Naturally, you'll also be carrying a freshly brewed cup of iced coffee, courtesy of Dunks. Going to have to manage that somehow. Although I can confidently say that in the last four years, you've had plenty of experience accomplishing that, not to worry. For students going into the military, I'm not sure everything from your TA-50 will be neatly packed and stored. Something's going to have to be jammed into a pocket. And in a few moments, you'll be getting your diploma. You have to carry that with you. You can't leave that behind. So undoubtedly, along your journey, you also want to bring things for recreation. So where does the lacrosse stick or violin or softball bat or basketball or saxophone go? You probably want to keep your car keys handy. And the bottom line is you're going to be carrying a lot of stuff. But I encourage you, at the start of this point along your journey, keep one hand free. Keep one hand free to keep doing what you've done, and that is offer a warm pat on the back when you can tell a friend really needs it. Keep one hand free to greet a new acquaintance with a welcoming handshake. Keep one hand free for that well-deserved celebratory high five. Keep one hand free so you can deliver a warm and friendly wave when you spot a friend from afar. Keep one hand free to lift someone up, no matter how far down they have fallen. In fact, keep one hand free simply to pat yourself on the back if you've worked hard and accomplished something that you are proud of. There's nothing wrong with that. But be wary not to overdo it. Self-aggrandizement is always undignified and vulgar, no matter what your position or role. Similarly, it is important to note that if things are going so well for you, in fact, that every day starts with a picnic and is promptly followed by a parade, is simply not reading enough Hemingway. Come home to Papa, he'll get you grounded. Members of the class of 2018, you have served to remind us that there is more strength in virtue than in mass or muscle. Head into the future being true to who you are and keep one hand free. It may be needed by someone when you least expect it. My sincere congratulations to you all and you will be missed. It's now my great pleasure to introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. John Bernard. Thank you, Mr. LaPrette. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family members, friends, members of the North Reading School Committee, district administrators, North Reading High School faculty, and a special welcome and congratulations to the students of North Reading High School's class of 2018. I share in the pride of all of us in attendance this evening who are here to celebrate this milestone achievement, your graduation and attendance at the 61st commencement exercises for North Reading High School. Several weeks ago when I began the annual pleasurable task of writing the first draft of my remarks to present to all of you at this commencement ceremony, I found myself especially reflective and reminiscent, recalling that in the fall of 2014, then as your high school principal, I was fortunate to be among those adults at North Reading High School to first welcome you as freshman students. And while I may have served as your principal for only six weeks before becoming your superintendent of schools in October of your freshman year, it has nonetheless been extremely pleasurable for me to witness your growth and maturation these last four years as I have continued to be a part of your progression through high school. I am equally honored, although a bit sadder today than when I welcomed you to high school in 2014, to be with you this evening and to be among those adults who now will bid you farewell and Godspeed as you end this important chapter in your lives and embark on new and exciting adventures in the months and years ahead. And so what is it exactly that I have seen in all of you these last four years, and what are my hopes and dreams for each of you as you leave the North Reading Public Schools? First and foremost, I have been consistently impressed with your kindness and consideration of others. The last four years have gone by so quickly, yet what a legacy you have left behind. You have left your school with more than you have taken, and you have made our school district and your community better by being good and honorable young people 
and I wish to extend to you both my appreciation and respect for the way in which you have conducted yourselves as students of the North Reading Public Schools and for the lasting impact you will undoubtedly have on your high school, the school district, and the community of North Reading. And let's think a bit more about the sense of community that exists here in North Reading and how you have helped to foster it. Let us take a brief moment to think about how wonderfully supportive all of North Reading has been. The beautiful North Reading Middle High School stands as a testament to the hopes and aspirations that those responsible for its creation have for all of you, the class of 2018, who will forever hold distinction, the, the distinction of being the first class ever to complete its, fo its full four years of high school in this wonderful state-of-the-art institution for learning. Yet as beautiful and contemporary as it is, its symbolism is much deeper and much more impactful, for it is a symbol of the desires of your local community and its residents to provide you with the very best foundation for a life that is filled with great promise. Your collective kindness and caring has contributed significantly to strong and meaningful relationships that have been forged throughout the time that you have been students of the North Reading Public Schools. Former First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Barbara Bush, who passed away earlier this year, once said that the most important yardstick of your success will be how you treat other people, your family, your friends, co-workers, and even strangers that you meet along the way. Famed author C.S. Lewis defined friendship as the instrument, instrument by which God reveals to each of us the beauty of others. I urge you to continue to be a good friend, be a good father, mother, sister, brother, son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, be a good boss or a good employee. The goodness that you impart to others will pay you back significantly over time. And as you prepare to leave North Reading High School and head to wherever life leads you, remember to take notice of the kindnesses that have been extended to you and seek to reciprocate by being kind and polite and respectful of all those with whom you have come into contact. Seek to emulate those people you have met and who possess these important qualities. Measure a person by the size of their heart and seek to be measured by the size of your heart. It is your heart that will gain you the respect and favor of others, and this will sustain you and bring you great satisfaction in life. These are but a few of the many good things I have witnessed in you, the class of 2018, and I have every confidence that these fine qualities will strengthen in the years ahead. It is a long-standing tradition in North Reading that the superintendent of schools offer a charge to the graduates, and so it is that this evening I will now fulfill this tradition. This year I found inspiration for my charge to you, our graduates, in the words of Senator Robert Kennedy. Just this past Tuesday, June the 5th, the world recognized the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Senator Kennedy on June 5th, 1968. And while many here this evening, and certainly our graduates, did not bear first-hand witness to the impact that Bobby Kennedy made at a time that our nation was in great turmoil, many of his powerful words communicated through his famous speeches continue to resonate today. At a time when much of our nation and our world remain in conflict, where cynicism is far too ever-present, where pessimism is encountered daily, there remains a place, in fact, there remains a great place, where hope and optimism shine, and it is important to be reminded that there are many good and positive and hopeful people in the world. I've had the very good fortune of working with young people in public education for 32 years. And over that time, much has changed. But an important constant has been the goodness in the young people I have encountered, the hope that they possess, and the power that they have to instill in others that there remains hope that the future can be better and brighter. And so it is fitting that we remember the words of Bobby Kennedy when he addressed the nation at a tumultuous time in 1968 and when he echoed the words of famed author George Bernard Shaw when he said, there are those that look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. This class of 2018 is my charge to all of you. Ask why not. Having been witness to the many good and hopeful and sincere acts that you have displayed, I am confident that you possess what is needed to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Lastly, as I fulfill my responsibility to you as your superintendent of schools, I expand my charge to you and ask that you give people hope. It is easy to fall prey to victimization and cynicism and hopelessness and increase our reliance on others to make our way through the day. What is not always easy, yet is critically important, 
is to remain hopeful and to work on your own with others as a support, not a crutch, to achieve your goals. In doing so, you will demonstrate hope for all that is good in both the short term and the long term. Hope is very powerful. It can inspire and raise up the downtrodden. Hope can ease pain and loss. Sometimes all it takes is one person to make a difference. Be that person. I'm confident that if you do so, you will make things better for those around you and in turn for yourself. I thank you for allowing me to share in this special occasion with you this evening, and you have my very best wishes for much peace and happiness in your lives ahead. I am so very proud of each and every one of you, and I have so enjoyed being a part of your lives these last few years. May God bless you in the years to come, and may your futures be filled with the realization of all of your dreams and aspirations. Congratulations and thank you.
It's now my pleasure to introduce our first honor essayist, Owen DeClean. Thank you, Ms. LePret. Good evening, ladies. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Owen DeClean, and I am privileged to be one of the honor essayists at this year's graduation ceremony. There is truly no community, no school, and no class I could possibly be happier to be graduating with than the North Reading High School class of 2018. Together, we've studied and tested, we've sported and gamed, we've arted and we've musicked. There were times of struggle and times of triumph, times where we helped each other out and times when we needed to be alone, times we will remember for the rest of our lives and times we will try to forget. But since we, the class of 2018, are the greatest class of all time, we survived. Heck, we more than survived. We, as a class, have a special bond that makes us the best one ever. Now, I am a strong believer that every single student in our class plays a specific and important role in our school dynamics. At the yearbook signing on Wednesday night, I was surprised to see that everyone had something important, kind, and completely unique to say to everyone else. If you do the math, that's over 40,000 individualized yearbook messages, and that's a lot. The class of 2018 is a team of friends, and if I may, of family. I cannot imagine who we would be if any one person was missing from our lives. And now, for the part where I pretend to have enlightenment and offer my wisdom to all of you guys. <laughs> I want you to think back on the people that shaped your lives. Really think, a parent, a sibling, a friend, a teacher, and figure out a way to thank them. Showing your appreciation by saying thank you is more than just common courtesy. It shows your love, your inspiration, and I think, it is one of the reasons why our teachers do what they do. They teach because they want us to grow into strong, independent, intelligent, healthy, successful young men and women. They do, don't do it for the praise, but I bet it would make them feel pretty good. I have a ton of people to thank personally. For each of you, the people are obviously different, but you still need to take a moment to thank them. Lucky for me, I have everyone I need to thank gathered right here tonight. So if you don't mind, I'm going to get some of my thank you notes out of the way right now. Uh, thank you to Mr. Dorval, who actually isn't here tonight, for being an integral part of my mathematics education. It may be difficult to differentiate between the comedy and the compliment here, but trust me, my math puns are limitless. <laughs> Thank you to Mr. Moreno. If someone asked if you taught me virtually everything I know about the Spanish language, I'd have to say, si, sí, es verde. <laughs> Thank you to the couple of people who speak Spanish, uh, especially my AP Spanish class, who understood what that joke meant. <laughs> Thank you to mom and dad for feeding me, giving me a place to live, and always having my back. Also, thank you to Mrs. Kane, Maskers, and Notorious for also feeding me, also giving me a place to live, and also always having my back. Thank you to the Cafeteria Fortune Cookies for having vague yet incredibly optimistic fortunes. A true story, my buddy Sam Barrett got a fortune a few weeks ago that said, you will soon find perfection, which I thought was kind of weird because I've been his best friend for seven years. <laughs> Thank you 
to all of my extended family who came out for this night, especially my Aunt Cindy, who came up on her birthday of all days. Happy birthday, Aunt Cindy. Thank you to the hallway TV monitors for reminding us kids that we aren't the only impulse buyers in town. Thank you to Mr. Rosa, Mr. Downs, Mr. Lepret, and Mr. Bernard for all of your personal help. I visited their offices so many times this year that I'm surprised the office ladies probably aren't wondering why I haven't been suspended already. And now, my last thank you. Thank you to the class of 2018. Hey guys, thanks for being awesome. We're the best <laughs> class ever. Just think about it. We're the biggest, we're the smartest, we're the most talented, and we are by far the most bestest class ever. Thank you to the class of 2018. Now, my job here is almost done, but before I go, I want to remind all of you to thank the people who are important to you. Tell them you appreciate them. Tell them they really made a difference in your life. Tell them you love them, because it truly means the world to them. And on that note, congratulations once more to the class of 2018. Thank you for being my companion on this journey through North Reading High School. Thank you for having each other's backs at every obstacle that was thrown at us along the way. Thank you for being a spectacular audience tonight. Good night. I would now like to welcome the next honor essayist, Alexa Galupo. Hello and welcome. Teachers, faculty, family, friends, alum, general interested inhabitants of our beautiful town, and most notably, the class of 2018. We all come together today to celebrate something truly special, the fulfillment of our time here at North Reading High School. Thanks to our parents, public school system, and all the amazing people within it, and our individual devotion to the first 13 years of education, we have finally made it. Well-known philosopher and regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, <laughs> Michael Scott once said, sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't know where it's going. I just hope to find it along the way. I think we can all relate to this, whether it be in the rambling on of essays and desperate attempts to reach a particular word count, the forced polite conversations with those teachers that make us just a little bit extra nervous, or while listening to the announcements eagerly anticipating a snow day that just never came. We've all seen this act of just figuring it out along the way, practice this ability of winging it, to the extent of shaping it into one of life's most crucial skills. Now, to make it clear, the notion of winging it is great for many situations. However, I've unfortunately been told a graduation speech is not one of them. But the skill, attitude, way of life is something truly special that we've developed in the monotonous daily routine at North Reading High School. As we've triumphed through our progression, from the overly eager with perfectly prepped matching socks days years ago, all the way up to the past few months of waking up as close to 7.30 as possible to make it to school without getting Mr. Downs's unavoidable tardy detention, and the scribbling of homework during the class just before that when it's due, we've explored the most strategic ways to yield the most favorable results. Just think of how strange it'd be if to this day we still followed a perfectly set schedule like we all did years ago when our parents were in charge of our every hour. 
Along the way, with our gaining of independence, we've come more comfortable and excited by not knowing. We all have put the keys into the ignition before even determining our destination. But with a car full of friends belting out our favorite songs, it didn't seem to matter whether we'd be met by the wonderful smell of cows outside of Richardson's, the eerie essence of Harold Parker at night, or even the familiarity of the top lot here at the high school, where we'd know we'd always bump into other familiar faces. Our careless and spontaneous attitudes characterize the philosophy of winging it and tend to bring the times filled with the most joy. We must carry this with us far beyond our crazy teenage years, because in the wise words of my poppy, it's all about the fun. Four years ago, we were just known as the largest class, sometimes the dreaded class. We did all know of each other, but I cannot confidently say that there was a strong bond or comfortable conversation that we all shared. Then again, the time preceding middle school, high school is middle school, and nothing really is comfortable in middle school. The point here is we were not the unified student body that we are today. Those middle school dances had us divided into our circles, our cliques. The boys were on one side and the girls were on the other. Now, four years later, I can happily say that I've never felt more like we were one single class than I did just this past Monday as we belted Pitbull's Meet Me at the Hotel, while also slightly concerned that the Danversport ballroom floor might just collapse. The transitional growth may be gradual, but along the way, we have found our place and found each other. Now I realize many of us here today are squeamishly ready for all that lies ahead. New friends to turn to, new opportunities beyond the 13 and a half square mile town, new classes, of course. This means it's time for change. After seeing the same street signs and passing on your route to school, the same faces while looking down from the third floor atrium and smiling at your friends below waving up, the same late night meetups at the closest all night fast food restaurant because no matter how long they lasted, the football games and busted parties were never long enough. Remember to not rush it all by because if you are not here now, it may be something you really miss down the road. Take the time to look around you and take it in while you can. I can promise you one thing, not everything will go exactly as planned, but that is the beauty in life. You don't need to have it all planned out yet. It'll work out along the way. This doesn't mean just sit back and wait for things to come together for you, but take each day at a time. Do with it what brings you the most happiness, the most personal growth. In these fleeting moments, with filled with so many news, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Live in the spectacular now, embrace the change, face it with the same confidence we've built up in these years of sameness, and remember, nobody really knows where they'll be five years from now. Class of 2018, thank you for everything. I wish you the best in all you endeavor. And now I would like to introduce our final honor essayist, Caitlin Galvin. Good evening, North Reading High School teachers, administrators, parents, family members, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. It took me forever to figure out how to write this speech. I knew Owen would probably start this off with something theatrical. Alexa's speech would be down to earth and amazing. Jones would remind us of who we are as a class. And maybe Michelle Lepret would finally get to tell us something other than to eat a good breakfast before MCAS. <laughs> how could I possibly find my own approach? But then June 1st came, and I found myself looking around at my classmates in the atrium as we sang and chanted and celebrated our last week of school, which, mar which I was marked late for, thanks, Mr. Campo. And I realized that regardless of how we have changed or who we have become over the last four years, we've all been shaped by our time together. Right now, I'd like to ask my fellow classmates to think about how they would define themselves in three words. 
I know how I would. Determined, passionate, and political. Now, why'd you pick those three words? And how'd you get there? I know I did not develop this identity on my own. My APUSH and APGov classmates were there to push me to discuss and develop my ideas and opinions before I put them down on paper. My teachers challenged me to think deeper and to figure out how to write an entire DBQ in about 40 minutes. My softball teammates were there to remind me to be resilient because no deficit was too big to overcome. And that's just it. Everything we accomplished as a class over the last four years, we accomplished together. We spotted each other in the weight room. We were there to cheer each other on during the track events at all states. We gave our fellow castmates a boost of confidence before taking the stage. We made group chats for AP Calculus that if we failed, and we did fail, at least we failed together. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe at the time you didn't think that any of these little th things made that much of a difference. But that's just it. Simple kindness makes all the difference in the world. I'm 18. I haven't been to a lot of retirement parties yet, but I've been to a couple for close family friends. At one of them, I remember coworkers speaking about how much it meant to them that their boss stuck by their side when those with greater authority tried to take advantage. It would have been a lot easier and a lot less stressful for him if he had stood to the side and let it happen. But he didn't. He supported his coworkers through thick and thin. So it made sense that it was the personal connections and considerations they spoke about at the party, not his accolades or anything superficial. The play Hamilton asks, Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. I'd like to think we've left a strong legacy here at NRHS. We certainly have the long list of achievements, the Cal titles, state titles, notorious and massacres victories, and the academic accomplishments. But I think our legacy here is also characterized by a willingness to help others, to push ourselves, and to simply just be good friends. Through highs and lows, we have helped each other through our high school careers, and that's exactly what I hope all of my classmates carry with them as they face the future. So, after today, we face the real world. I have to ask, what do you want your greater legacy to be? We have had great teachers and great friends who have influenced our lives. I know I wouldn't be here without my friends, who always, always encouraged me to push myself. My teachers, especially Mr. Emerton, who is always there to answer my incessant political and history questions. And most importantly, my family, who always had my back. If there was any, ever anyone in your life who was there for you, remember that. With graduation comes our chance to pay that forward to demonstrate simple kindness, and to make the world a better place just by helping those around us grow. So, as you enter the next phase in your life, be that person, that friend who you could always turn to, or the coach who inspired you. But there's one more thing we can do, and I wouldn't be giving the speech I wanted to give if I didn't say it. Beyond simply being a good person, we can also do more to leave a greater legacy. Our world is ever-changing and may seem to be more and more chaotic every day. I bet all of you have seen something you find concerning on the news recently. It could be related to politics, it could be related to the health effects of cell phones, or it could be related to how concussions are addressed in sports. As high school students, we were fairly passive. Change just was not in our minds. But after today, you have a decision to make. To maintain the status quo or to become something bigger. Because there is absolutely nothing guaranteeing how much time we have on this earth. Each second we are granted is given to us for a purpose. It is up to us to fulfill that purpose and to make our lives mean something. All of us have the ability to make change. We can create music, pursue scientific discoveries, or maybe run for office. Bring that strong character and that commitment to others and use it to make a difference. Lastly, as you embark on the next chapter of your life, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget those who helped you along the way and to pay their kindness forward. Because whether it be as a teacher, a parent, or president of the United States, the ultimate legacy anyone can leave is to be a sincere individual committed to the well-being of others. So, class of 2018, I have one final question. What's next? Thank you.
It is now my pleasure to introduce your class essayist, Jerlyn Kai the Metam. Good evening, Superintendent Bernard, Principal Lepret, Assistant Principal Downs, distinguished members of the school committee, respected faculty, family, friends, and graduates. Do me a favor. Over the course of the next few minutes, think about this. If you could go back in time and give your freshman self some advice, what would you say? About a month ago, I asked some of my friends this question, and I began to think about it myself. I found that there were a few words that came up numerous times, a few constant themes of advice, to our freshmen selves. The first was acceptance. Some wanted to tell their freshmen selves to accept others, to come into high school with no predispositions about those around them, to give everyone a fresh slate. To others, acceptance meant accepting themselves. Many wanted to tell their freshmen selves to be okay with who they are, to be comfortable in their own skin, to accept the mistakes they make, and to grow from them. The second piece of advice was to be realistic. Many of us went into high school thinking it would be like it is in the movies, perfect. But each time something didn't go our way, be that not making the varsity team or not getting a perfect GPA, we let our frustration chip away from our ideal view of high school. Telling ourselves to be realistic, to understand that bad things will happen, but that in the end, everything will work out, would have helped us through a lot. The third bit of advice was not to take things for granted. We have all spent so much time wishing for more in the future or missing the past that we have often forgotten to be grateful for the here and now. If we had taken the time to cherish the moments and the people that were changing our lives, we would see how truly lucky and blessed we have been over the course of this journey. And finally, the last piece of advice was to find what makes you happy. Being 14, caught up in the first year of high school while trying to impress everyone around us, there were times when our freshman selves forgot to focus on what made us happy. If our freshman selves knew that being happy was a choice and not to be afraid to do what makes us happy, our lives would have been so much easier. So, after I asked my friends, I thought to myself, what's the point? Why does it matter what we would have told our freshmen selves? We're graduating. It's too late anyways, right? That's just the thing. It's not too late. In a few months, we are back to square one. We are freshmen once again. Whether that means we are beginning college, beginning a career serving our country, beginning our lives in the workforce, or anything in between, the point is we are beginning. We have our whole lives ahead of us. So, class of 2018, and everyone here, I urge you to listen to yourselves now. I urge you to go into the next chapter of your lives with acceptance. Understand that the world is filled with so many different types of people, all with their own stories, struggles, and uniqueness. Go into this next chapter with no predispositions. Open yourselves up to new people, new ideas, and new cultures. Learn all there is to learn about this great big world and then some. Class of 2018, accept yourselves and be realistic. Understand that it is normal to face failures and setbacks, but do not be afraid to make mistakes and to stumble and to fall, because you will. You will make mistakes over and over, you will face adversity, and you will be forced to overcome some tough obstacles. But remember to accept these obstacles graciously, knowing that your failures shape you as an individual. Class of 2018, don't take anything for granted. Begin this new journey with gratefulness. Cherish those around you. Tell the people you love how much you love them. Remember, you are who you are because of the people in your life who have supported you until this day. 
So hug your people and never let them forget how much they mean to you. And finally, class of 2018, I urge you to be happy. I urge you to be brave enough to do what makes you happy. It sounds corny, but it's true. We only have one life. If anything, it's our duty to spend it doing what makes us happy. Why would we ever do anything else? Class of 2018, understand that happiness is not permanent. It comes and it goes, and that's okay. But I invite you to be happy anyways. Choose happiness over fear or stress or worry or sorrow. So, faculty, family, friends, and graduates, Remember when I asked you to think about what you would have told your freshman self before you began the adventure that was high school? Whatever your advice was, whether it was to eat healthier, to stress less, be happier, or anything in between, I challenge each and every one here, myself included, to begin our next chapter by following our own advice. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Gerilyn. Please join me now in recognizing the class of 2018 scholarship winners. I would ask that the recipient please stand when his or her name is called. I would also like to thank the community for its generosity in making these scholarships possible. The Barbara E. Aylward Memorial Scholarship, Samantha Noyes. James R. Aylward Memorial Scholarship, Antonio Bautista Foti. <laughs> Arthur A. Baresi Memorial Scholarship, Abigail Moline. <laughs> the L.D. Batchelder School Scholarships, Alexa Galupo, Justin Hong. <laughs> Joseph R. Bernard Memorial Scholarship, Xavier Scribner. BNI BIZ Builders Scholarship, Emily Nearing. <laughs> Kristen M. Callahan Memorial Scholarship, Caitlin Galvin. <laughs> Chartwell's Nutrition Services Scholarship, Ian Branconier. <laughs> Eleanor C. Dell Scholarship Fund of 2014, Margaret O'Donnell. Larry Dysart North Reading Girls Youth Basketball Scholarship, Taylor Moore. Elks National Foundation Most Valuable Student Scholarship, Noel Riley. Fitzgerald Prize for Community Service in Memory of Kaylee and Roy Fitzgerald, Samuel Barrett. Betsy Gavoni Memorial Book Award, Lauren Galbicki. <laughs> Stephen Gregory Memorial Scholarship, Kyle Bythrow. <laughs> James Gregory Hannon Memorial Scholarship Fund, Tia Campagna. <laughs> Edith F. Holt Scholarship, Rudy Carlson. <laughs> Robert Hunt Memorial Scholarship, Michael Brown. <laughs> Ipswich River Community Chorus Scholarships, Madeline Alter, Sarah Buston. <laughs> David Jamison Memorial Scholarship, Sophia Cassiano. <laughs> Fe Frederick A. Keyes Memorial Scholarships, Justin Hong, Julia Tatone. E. Ethel Little School Scholarships, Jenna Barrows, Patrick Scanlon. Anthony J. Lopret Jr. Memorial Scholarship, Michael Luciano. Martins Pond Community Pride Scholarships, Caitlin DeChara, Juliana McAdams, Alex Walner. Massachusetts Elks Scholarships, 
Incorporated major project, Olivia Esposito, Alexa Wilk. <laughs> Mighty Meredith Project Scholarship, Jerilyn Kaithamedam. <laughs> Walter Miller Scholarship, Michael Luciano. <laughs> Michael Mitten Memorial Scholarship, Meredith Griffin. Moynihan Lumber Scholarship, Monica Stancheva. <laughs> North Reading Education Association Scholarship, Abigail DiOrlando. <laughs> North Reading Girls Softball League Scholarships, Tara Driver, Caitlin Galvin, Christina Simblaris. <laughs> North Reading High, I'm sorry, North Reading High School Boys Lacrosse Boosters Scholarship, Patrick Scanlon. <laughs> North Reading High School Hockey Boosters Scholarship, Patrick Scanlon. <laughs> North Reading High School Parents Association Scholarship, Emma Bowers. <laughs> North Reading Historical and Antiquarian Society Scholarship, Jake Doucette. North Reading Little League Scholarship, Phil Dardano President's Award, Derek Riley. <laughs> North Reading Little League Harold B. Reynolds Memorial Scholarship, Jake Doucette. <laughs> North Reading Lodge of Masons Scholarship, Megan Griffin. <laughs> North Reading Music Boosters Scholarships, Allison Hastings, Abigail Moline, Emily Nearing, Michelle Zhang. North Reading Police Association Criminal Justice Scholarship, Jerilyn Kaithamedam. <laughs> North Reading Town Republican Committee Scholarship, Hugo Viberg IV. <laughs> North Reading Women of the Moose Scholarship, Cassandra Mirasolo. <laughs> North Reading Youth Football League and Cheerleading Scholarships, Nicholas Arena, Veronica Fortin. North Reading Youth Hockey Scholarship, Patrick Scanlon. <laughs> North Reading Youth Soccer Board of Directors Scholarships, Abigail Layton, Juliet Nadeau. <laughs> North Reading Youth Soccer Scholarships in memory of Janet Connolly O'Neill, Jenna Barrows, Nicholas Carpenter. <laughs> North Reading Youth Soccer Scholarships, Kristen Bradley, Nicholas Catino, Lauren Camo, Jerlyn Kaithamedam, Burke Riesenberg, Carly Vesey. <laughs> Frank L. Prusik Memorial Scholarship, Kayla Prusik. <laughs> Robert Ramsdell Boys Youth Basketball Scholarship, Timothy Peach. <laughs> Edward A. Sapienza Scholarship, Jackson D'Angelo. Bonnie Gay Symes Memorial Scholarship, Emily Nearing. <laughs> Richard K. Smith Scholarship, Owen DeClean. <laughs> James R. Stewart III Memorial Scholarship, Sarah Buston. <laughs> to Really Born Scholarship Trust Fund, Sheila Barrett. <laughs> Sarah Valenti. Memorial Scholarship sponsored by North Reading Lacrosse Boosters, Patrick Scanlon. Sarah Valenti Memorial Scholarship sponsored by North Reading Hockey Boosters, Kevin Murphy. Todd Verdonk Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Diamond Club, Marco Vitozzi. Wakefield Lodge of Elks, Number 1276 Scholarship Committee Award given in the name of Robert Burke, Jerilyn Kaithamedam. <laughs> Wakefield Lodge of Elks, number 1276 Outstanding Member Award given in the name of Maureen E. Longo, HLM, Cassandra Mirasolo. 
Wakefield Lodge of Elks, number 1276, Exalted Ruler Award, given in the name of Keith Rhodes, ER, Noel Riley. <laughs> the Ward Face Memorial Scholarship Fund in memory of Stephen Harold Face, Nicholas Carpenter. <laughs> Wayne and Catherine Welsh Memorial Scholarship, Jake Doucette. West Village Women's Club Scholarship Fund, Riley Bruner. <laughs> the following class of 2018 graduates have been awarded scholarships by the North Reading Dollars for Scholars. When your name is called, please remain standing. And sincere thanks to the Dollars for Scholars Committee for your efforts on behalf of our students this year's Dollar for Scholars Scholarship winners. Noah Aaron, Samuel Barrett, Emma Bowers, Kirsten Bradley, Sarah Buston, Lauren Camo, Matthew Benedetto, Owen DeClean, Andrew DiPietro, Jake Doucette, Bianca Ferragudo, Alexa Galupo, Caitlin Galvin, Victoria Grasso, Meredith Griffin, Lauren Galbicki, Jerlyn Kaithamedam, Morgan Lally, Abigail Layton, Danielle Lento, Katie Lonsdale, Margaret McCarthy, Isabella Mejia, Cassandra Mirasolo, Emily Nearing, Margaret O'Donnell, Tariq Ordil, Abigail Payne, Aldine Razzo, Jonathan Santoro, Michelle Zhang, Monica Stancheva, and Julia Tatone. A tremendous, tremendous job by the Dollars for Scholars Committee this year. And at this point of the program, I'm happy to introduce Assistant Principal, Mr. Michael Downs. Superintendent Bernard, Ms. Imbriano, on behalf of the faculty and staff of North Reading High School, it is my great pleasure to present to you the following members of the class of 2018 who have satisfied the requirements of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the North Reading Public School System to receive their high school diplomas. Caitlin Nicole Galvin. Alexa Natalie Galupo. Owen Nathaniel DeClean. Jerlyn Jose Kaidametham. Nicholas Philip Carpenter. Abigail Elizabeth Payne. Justin Lou Hong. Michael Anthony Luciano. Victoria Yvonne Grasso. Colin Frederick Adams. Brett Christian Allen. Madeline Rose Alter. 
Eva Kathleen Altvader. Jacob Michael Oncree. Noah Edward Aaron. Nicholas Paul Arena. Colleen Ann Arrington. Christopher Arnold. Jillian Violet Audier. Ashley Morgan Bajhoff. Sheila Marie Barrett. Samuel John Barrett. Jenna Marie Barrows. Antonio Bautista Fodi. Lionel Kenneth Bean III. Jake Philip Bedell. Joshua Jonathan Bedell. Colin James Boucher. Emma Virginia Bowers. Kirsten Daniel Bradley. Ian Gabriel Branconier. Nicholas Michael Bridges. Chantel Kelsey Brogan. Jillian Taylor Brooks. Kevin Martin Brown. Michael James Brown. Riley Angela Bruner. Barbara Jillian Burke. Morgan Elizabeth Burke. Alexandria Shea Burnett. Anna Nicole Buscemi. Sarah Emily O'Donnell Buston. Kyle Robert Bithrow. Tia Marie Campania. Giovanna Diana Capone. Rudy Frederick Carlson. Sophia Marie Cassiano. Nicholas Catino. Iris Chen. Amanda Renee Cohen. Alexandra, Alexandra Leah Colella. Richard Neil Colarusso. Lauren Olivia Como. Kyle Gerard Conley.
Rachel Nicole Conley. Nico Danielle Costa. Alyssa Catherine Constantino. Joseph Giovanni Constantino. Julia Rose Constantino. Dennis Patrick Cotter. Andrew Francis Crotty. Tyler Christopher Cullen. Justin Martin Dennis. Jackson Thomas D'Angelo. Matthew Joseph Di Benedetto. Alec Richard Di Gregorio. Joseph Camillo Desiderio Jr. Vincenzo Camillo Desiderio. Haley Michelle Diamond. Caitlin Marie Dachara. Andrew Carl DiPietro. Justin Michael DePlatzi. Abigail Grace Dorlando. Jake Edward Doucette. Mateus Barreto Dovali. Tara Alexa Driver. Ryan Michael Edison. Georgie Anna Elliott. Olivia Ann Esposito. Grace Michael Exum. Kevin John Farrelly. Bianca Elise Ferraguto. Jack Austin Fitzgerald. Colin Winslow Flagg. Jennifer Kaylee Flett. Jenna Teresa Forsalisi. Veronica Casey Fortin. Rachel Elizabeth Foster. Felicia Marie Framartino. Matthew Kenneth Friedman. Isabella Giacoloni. DeAndrea Davina Gibbs. Jared Tyag Gonzalez. Connor John Gover.
Megan Palmer Griffin. Meredith Cronin Griffin. Molly Zhu Griffin. Lauren Rose Golbicki. Allison Ellen Hastings. Molly Haynes. Amy Christine Heffernan. Courtney Bridget Hennessy. Taylor Catherine Hennessy. Rachel Hayes Hill. David Luke Hudson. Amanda E. Diana Imbriano. Jake Anthony Indelicato. Laura Elizabeth Ennis. Randall Thomas Gould. Jake Matthew Intravaya. Mackenzie May Ariana. Matthew Ryan Jaronsic. Anna Caroline Jones. Rachel Maureen Kane. Casey Marie Cavanaugh. Zoe Helen Kennedy. Allison Ray Kirby. Ashley Dorothy Ann Kaur. Morgan Rose Lally. Megan Haley Landers. Mark Joseph Lozier. Tyler Tone Lee. Ashley Ann Lahane. Abigail Melina Layton. Daniel Rose Lentil. Katie Lauren Lonsdale. Courtney Rose Luker. Juliana Marie McAdams. Christopher James McInnes. Owen Timothy Maxwell. Margaret Rose McCarthy. Abriana Marie McCollum. Jillian Grace McCullough. Bridget Kathleen McDonough. 
Ian Richardson McGowan. Colin B. McKinney. Isabella Rose Mejia. Cassandra Marie Marisolo. Abigail Kathleen Moline. Taylor Patricia Moore. Lucas John Morton. Jack Moscrip. Brian Wheelock Murphy. Garrett John Murphy. Kevin Joseph Murphy. Maxwell Wheelock Murphy. Michaela Eileen Murphy. Samantha Adeline Murphy. Matthew John Muti. Juliet Jane Nadeau. Anthony Sergio Nasta. Emily Ann Nearing. Jad Mosen Noradeen. Samantha Marie Noyes. Margaret Jean O'Donnell. Tariq Ordeal. Danielle Marie Pagluca. Sophia Anna Paoni. Thomas Patrick Patch. Timothy Robert Peach. Juliana Pizapia Pepe. Caitlin Elizabeth Perkins. Juliana Marie Piscatelli. Nicholas Robert Piscatelli. Nicholas James Powell. Kayla May Prusik. Courtney Mary Puglia. Ryan Joseph Qualieri. Joshua Antonio Ramirez. Christian Michael Randazzo. Aldean Elaine Razzo. Samuel John Regan. Derek Jared Riley. Burke Donald Jude Riesenberg. Noel 
Charles Riley. Cheyenne Rose Robertson. Stone McQueen Robertson. Emily Catherine Rush. Marissa Michelle Sabia. Paige Alexandra Sampson. Timothy Joseph Sanger. Jonathan Ignacio Santoro. Gregory Sawyer. Patrick Thomas Scanlon. Xavier William Scribner. Michelle Shang. Anthony Joseph Shea. Mason Philip Siciliano. Christina Marie Zimbleris. Caden Paul Smith. Haley Ford Spellenberg. Kayla Ford Spellenberg. Mary Isabel Sprinkle. Monica Sasheva Stancheva. Lauren Patrice Stead. Samantha Leslie Sturdivant. Danielle, I'm sorry, Daniel William Sweeney. Adam Jacob Sire. Liam Michael Tanyan. Julia Rose Tatone. Jordan Elise Thibodeau. Isabel Anna Thorsted. Mason Richard Tidd. Eric James Tully. Saren Nicole Ventulo. Carly Ann Vizi. Marco Elio Vitozzi. Joseph James Wallace. Alex Davis Walner. Emily Camille Warren. Hugo William Weiberg IV. Christopher John Wildman.
Alexa Rose Wilk. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends, I present the graduates of North, High, North Reading High School Class of 2018. and congratulations to the greatest class to walk through the halls of NRHS, the class of 2018. <laughs> Woo! Woo! My name is Geraldine Kaithamettam, and I am the senior class president. Standing beside me are Vice President Nicholas Carpenter, Secretary Abigail Gibb Payne, and Treasurer Justin Hong, better known as Jay Hong. <laughs> we cannot even begin to express how wonderful it has been to serve as your class officers, and thank you for giving us this opportunity. On behalf of the four of us, as well as the entire class of 2018, I want to extend our sincerest appreciation to everyone here. First, to the faculty, for all the work they put in to make our years here very memorable. Next, Mr. Bernard, Mr. Lepret, and Mr. Downs, thank you for all your support, encouragement and guidance over the past few years. We would like to give a special shout out to our class advisors, Mr. Doucette and Mrs. Dabrio. They have somehow managed to put up with the four of us and our craziness and have made our senior year unforgettable. Next, we would like to thank the family and friends that have remained by our side through this entire journey. To all of our parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. Thank you for supporting, thank you for supporting us for over the past 12 years, for being there through our best moments and our worst. Thank you for coming to all of our games, performances, and for being the loudest voices cheering us on. Thank you for supporting us every day of our lives. We are who we are because of each and every one of you, so thank you for shaping us into the people standing before you today. Finally, we thank you, the class of 2018, for making these the four most memorable years of our lives so far. I am beyond confident in saying that there has never been and never will be a greater class that to walk across this turf. And as we graduate and move on to even bigger and better things, our legacy will last within this school and in this town for the rest of time. The smartest, most athletic, and most talented individuals of NRHS history make up the class of 2018. Throughout our years, we have, <laughs> we have won numerous state championships, been Cal champs in sports that have never seen a, title, a Cal title in years, and received numerous drama accolades, and the list goes on and on. Together, we have left an extraordinary legacy, one that can never be forgotten. As the first class to graduate after four years in this brand new high school, we symbolize the beginning of an era. We symbolize the greatness that comes with change and that new beginnings can create wonderful outcomes. On behalf of the class of 2018 and in conjunction with previous graduating classes, we have decided to donate an electric sign which will welcome all to this amazing place that we have called home for the past four years, North Reading High School. Class of 2018, together, let's turn our tassels from right to left, symbolizing our transition from North Reading High School students to graduates. <laughs> In
And now, for the moment we have all been waiting for, Class of 2018, throw those caps up! <laughs> <laughs> 